In this video, I will be going over by far the quickest and easiest way to complete all Kyle Perico self missions in GTA Online as of 2022. This video will guide you through the best setup missions to choose and the most efficient and easiest way of completing them. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Before we get into the best ways to complete each prep for the Kyle Perico heist, it's recommended that you have the Sparrow upgrade added to your Kasaka or alternatively the Oppressor Mark II. So, if you have at least one of those vehicles then you're all set. If you don't you can still do the Kyabrico heist preps but not as fast as this guide shows you to do them. The very first set of mission that all players must complete is of course gather intel. This mission is fairly simple to do however I will guide you through the fastest way of reaching the tower once you are on the island. First of all once you have stolen the plane and landed on Kyabrico you want to instantly head on your right towards this bike. This will be the fastest way of getting across the island. Then you want to head to your right towards the grass area and all you need to do is follow the path in which I take avoiding the bushes so that you don't end up falling off your bike. Okay, so you follow the path and you should reach this road. Ahead is a little bit of a tricky part. There will be a ton of guards, including a watchtower. However, we can easily get over here in less than 10 seconds. All you need to do is wait for the guard in the tower to be facing away from your direction. And then you want to head towards this cliff face while at the same time doing a wheelie on your bike to get some easy momentum over the cliff. If you do this correctly, you will land on the other side and from here all you need to do is wait for any vehicles passing by and head down this road following the path I take, making sure to avoid the camera. Once you make it up towards the tower, if you see a guard stood at the bottom, this means the power box is on the top of the tower. However, if a guard is not on the bottom, this means the power box is on ground level. Now, scope your targets and it's time for the next setup mission. So, the first setup mission you should always do is the weapon loadout. The reason for this is because of the amount of time that this prep can waste. For the loadout, I always recommend going for the aggressor loadout or the conspirator loadout. And you always want to buy suppressors for just 5000 now once you launch this mission there is two variants that you can get. The worst is the Merry River mission. This will waste around 10 minutes of time however we can easily avoid this mission. All you need to do is head on over to the guided missiles. If you don't have this upgrade on the Kasaka I recommend you buy it or you can use your oppressor mark 2 or the Sparrow. Now make sure your Kasaka is located at Vespucci beach before you do anything and with the guided missiles you want to head to Elysian Island and blow up the Merry River helicopter. Also, do the same with your oppressor or sparrow. After this, once you restart the mission, if you receive the Merryweather prep again, then use the second guided missiles as the other one will still be reloading. You shouldn't get this mission more than two times, but if you do, simply repeat the process. Now, the best mission to receive is the building mission. On the bottom of your screen, you should see a signal to head to a building. Now, using your sparrow, head out of your Kasaka and make your way towards the building. To speed up this process, I recommend landing your sparrow down at the beach and then requesting your oppressor mark 2 via the interaction menu. Once it spawns, head over to the building. Always head into the building from the roof entrance. Land your oppressor on top of the roof, close enough to the yellow checkpoint and once you're inside, equip a silenced weapon. And first, you want to take out this guard right here by shooting at him through the door like so. Make sure to shoot him in the head. Then push through the doors and shoot this door open and then kill the guard on the other side. Then push through into this room and then you want to shoot this door open and kill the guard stood at the desk. Check the safe, hack the laptop and collect the weapons. Then make your way out from the way you came back into the office and then you want to press the button which takes you to the roof which is Q on PC. From here all you have to do is hop on your oppressor and make your way back to the Kasaka. What I recommend you do is park your oppressor on top of the Kasaka by slowly 
slowly landing on top near this hatch and try and be careful not to let it fall into the sea. This will save you a lot of time when going in and out of the Kasaka for setup missions. Now for the next mission you always want to do the approach vehicle. Many people decide to go for the Kasaka however the setup mission for the Kasaka is slow and the approach for the finale is also slow. The approach vehicle that you want to go for is the long fin. Before this prep I recommend you purchase the phantom wedge as this will make this setup mission 10 times easier. Leaving your Kasaka hop onto your oppressor which should be stored near the door that you leave on the Kasaka and then head to the police station. Once you are there return your oppressor to storage and request the phantom wedge. While you wait for the phantom wedge to arrive fully snack up as well as fully equipping armor and then hop into the phantom wedge and reverse it into the police station. For certain locations this can be difficult to pull off especially the Mesa location however all you need to do is reverse the truck into the trailer and attach it. Then after that all you need to do is deliver the long fin to the docks area right down at Elysian Island right here on the map as the location will always remain the same. At the point you reach the docks you will still have the cops on you so what you want to do is request the Kasaka, drive the Phantom Wedge through the fence and then park it right here. Then you need to hop out and blow yourself up. This will remove the cops and all you need to do is hop back into the Phantom Wedge and seeing as though it is already parked on the checkpoint the mission will instantly finish. After this return the Phantom Wedge and request your oppressor mark 2 and it's time for the next setup. The next setup mission is for equipment. This section is split into four different preps however we only need to do three of them and the first is plasma cutter however for some players this will be a different setup mission if you have bearer bonds or madrazo files for your primary target you will have the safe code setup mission so i will first show you how to complete this mission once you start it head on over to the casino with your oppressor mark 2 and then you want to land it near the front entrance then once you are inside if you own the casino penthouse you will easily be able to access the elevator to get to the main floor heading up here you need to look out for a set of two guards. These guards can spawn down this hallway over here. Once you find the two guards using a silenced weapon, you need to take out the guards and head into the room. Now there is three possible spawns for the security guard. He can be in this room right here on your right, or he can be in the main area inside of this room. And lastly, he will be at the bar over here. All you need to do is take him out as well as the guards around him and collect the cord. Then once you have collected the cord you need to blow yourself up. This will spawn you outside and lose your wanted level completing the mission. Now the other mission you receive is Plasma Cutter which is available for every other target other than bearer bonds or madrazo files. This mission requires you to go to two locations. The first is a safe house. Using your oppressor head on over to the safe house and once you get there you need to go into first person and run into the door. Once you are inside instantly open Open your phone and take a photo. Make sure you take the photo of this part of the room just like I do and it will count as a photo. After you have taken the photo back up from the door and head out. Then you need to head on over to a bank. There is two locations Vespucci Beach or Rockford Hills. Once you go to the location make sure to equip armor and snacks and then blow up every surrounding vehicle and enemies with your oppressor. And all you need to do is hover over the bag to collect it. Make sure you trigger the checkpoint to the location after you have collected the plasma cutter and then you want to head out towards Vespucci Beach to request your Kasaka and the mission is complete once you deliver it. Now the next setup mission is Fingerprint Cloner. Once again you are required to go to two different locations. The first location is a warehouse and when you get to the warehouse you want to equip a shotgun that you have, preferably the assault shotgun and then head inside. The guards will react straight away so you have to be aiming and be ready and as soon as you're inside shoot the guard in front and then the guard behind him and the other two guards behind the box. Once you successfully take them out, simply hack the laptop and now you need to head on over to the archive. Once you make it to the archive, don't bother shooting the cameras, just head inside and the fingerprint cloner will spawn around the back area near these desks. It will be on one of the three desks but you should easily see it and the hitbox is pretty large so you don't really have to get too close and you should be able to collect it. Then all you need to do is deliver it back to the Kasaka and the mission is complete. And the final prep is cutting torch. This setup mission is insanely easy to complete. You you will need to head to one of three different construction sites and once you are at the construction site you will need to equip a helmet. For this specific location the helmet will be over here on this pallet of wood but just know the helmet is yellow and it will always be on top of a box of some sort. All you need to do is aim your gun at the helmet to skip the box in the top of your screen which will save a little bit of time. Then once you
to have equipped the helmet, put your gun away so that you don't get caught. Then all you have to do is find the toolboxes around the construction site. Whatever you do, be careful not to hit any of the guards because that will trigger them. But once you collect the cutting torch, deliver it back to the Kasaka and you are ready to start the heist. For this video, I won't be guiding you through the entire heist finale, however I will go over the long fin approach and how to successfully do it. Okay, so when you start the heist, you need to choose the main dock as the entrance, and once you spawn in, you will appear right here, and all you need to do is turn the long fin to your right, and you will need to aim the board towards this small rock over here. This can be tricky to pull off, but it's very rewarding when you do it. At full acceleration, head towards the rock and tilt your board front upwards, and then hit the rock. This should launch the boat in the air, and if you do this with enough speed, you should land on the island, directly in the compound. After this, hop out of the long fin, and you will need to kill this guard over here near the helipad. He should drop the key cords to the compound, but if he doesn't, then this guard should drop them over here, so kill him as well, and if you still don't have the key cords, then kill the guard at the gate. He should also drop them. However, if your luck is still really bad, you will need to head on over to the main gate and kill all three guards to hopefully collect the key codes. Be careful of the car which usually patrols around the compound. If you hear an engine, just shoot him and kill the driver. He can also sometimes drop the key codes. By now, you should have them and all you need to do is head on over to the door and head into the compound. And from there, you are free to complete the heist in any way you prefer. And with all that being said, those were the best Kaya Perico setups to complete, as well as the best way to complete them in 2022. If this video helped in any way, be sure to subscribe, as well as drop a like, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.